Hey, well, welcome back to Junk. Now, uh, if you're an avid viewer, you may remember we had a slight issue with the chopper we acquired. Alan had barely mounted up before he hit a bollard and had a lucky escape. And fortunately, because he's drinking tea, um, <clears throat> Alan survived. In fact, it didn't really hurt you too much, did Just it? Just scuffed my leg a bit, but that buffed out, so no, it's all right. But it did hurt the chopper quite a lot. So normally, uh, at this time, Alan and I, or me and Skid, would go to another little shed or something like that to pick something up. But obviously, we've still got something to sell, which is the chopper, and it needs quite a bit of work doing to it. Nothing that's not damaged on the yeah, crash. All right, I was going to say that. OK, I know you didn't damage it, but we did discover that we need the head off and the push rods are leaking oil. Is really? that right? Was that a good description? Really bad. Yeah, OK. Not just a little bit. All really right. bad. Really bad, right? But we've mopped it all off now, so you can't really see it. But promise you, right, it was really bad. So Al's going to do that quickly. Now, Guy reckons, oh, mate, I'll take at least three hours. So he sent him home last night, hmm? because with Al, it'll take about 20 minutes without Guy hanging around moaning about life. While he was doing that, I thought I might have a go at the tank. Task number one, remove the logos, while Alan gets on with the strip down. That's the carburetor's off. Ryumph, that's me now. I could be Iumph in a minute. Once all the lettering is gone, I take the tank outside to prepare it for a repaint. The joy of this tank is it's actually in really good nick. Uh, so hopefully it's not going to take too much. I carry on flatting it off with some mid-grade sandpaper and then give it a quick rub down while Jelly admires my work. I'm going to paint it black, so I opt for a grey undercoat. I was always taught by Sammy to just keep it moving. And once that's dry, I move on to the top coat. The key thing here is to spray on several very light coats to avoid any drippage. Try and keep the can moving as best you can. <laughs> Only because you don't want a blotch where you go like that and then you get a run. While I'm playing Andy Warhol, back in the shed, Alan's been swapping his gaskets and working on his push rod seals. I'm just putting some special sealer on it, which is like an ultra grey sealer, which is really, really nice. Just to make sure, because you never know with these old trance. A few days ago, the engine was leaking so much oil, I thought I'd have to call in Red Adair. But after some quality time in the workshop, Alan sorted the problem. So the trick is now to get this on and down in place. Within a few minutes, the engine's been reassembled and we're getting ready for the return of the tank. You offer it up, I'll put the bolts through. OK, mate, here we go. It's actually supposed to be gloss, but it's so hot outside that the finish is a kind of a stealth satin. Ten minutes later, the tank's in, the seat's on, and Alan's ready for a test kick. It starts first time. Amazing! We've got a rebuilt engine that works gloriously. We have a tank that I personally think looks rather nice. Uh, and all of it has happened, Guy, in just under two hours. What a fantastic time we've had. Uh, Monday, uh, we will be going out for a ride after Guy, because we've got to let him, because he used to do it for a living, puts the stickers on. Three days later, his royal Guyness makes an appearance. Can I just say, I'm very impressed. It's really nicely tidied. And I understand uh, you've done the cylinder head leak. Yes. I've noticed the gear changes straight. Yes. Uh, yeah, and that. that was bent before the incident. Yes, yes. I did notice that. Yeah. Um, There's a I rear bet, number think, plate put on for yeah. the uh, test number plate. Yeah, I, I think it's looking lovely. I think you've done a great job. And it's going to look even lovelier once those stickers go on. Naturally, with Guy in charge, there's a lot of unnecessary fiddling and barking of orders. Give that to me. Oh, I, I need a pen now. Oh, 
Oh, God, I told you to get uh, everything no, ready. We're about done by now, aren't we? We'll be oh, riding by now. We'll be riding. Uh, well, OK, hang on, I can do it this way. No, it's all right, I don't need a pen. It turns out that this is not one of the modern vinyl stickers that Skid is familiar with, but an old-fashioned water slide transfer that I've used before. The perfect opportunity for a workshop coup. Right, the gig is to drag the carrier, not the... Not the, not the sticker. OK. Pinch it down and drag it out gently. You see the nick is where the front of the cardboard was. See the nick in the tape? Look at, at the that. front. Look at that, it looks like grumpy, doesn't it, at first? Grumpy. Yeah, I'm very yeah. apt with who's fitting it. I think that's quite a good job. And the other side goes on even better. Well, apart from a minor crease. Do not now mess with that badly. That's near enough. You think, Alan? Yeah, that's, that's really nice. That that's good. great. That's, that's fine. Yeah, cool. Pretty it's nice. probably a little bit higher than the other side. Um, oh, I don't know. Absolutely fantastic. Right then, we've got ourselves a rather lovely black Triumph chopper to obviously take out for a ride. Uh -uh, Alan Milliard, over to you.